Hi. Uh, my name is Shami, and I have been working with Margaret since October, yes. I think. Yes. And uh, Margaret is great, absolutely. A very sweet child, and she does a lot of stuff. Track, cross country, music. And she actually gave up her music to do computer science, which is amazing. And we've been having a lot of fun together. She wanted to prepare a game and, uh, and see how that goes with a new, a different programming language. She had some experience earlier. So we had a lot of fun learning through that and, and doing that. So with further ado, here's Margaret. So I'm Margaret, and like Shami said, um, I'm a senior in Eastside, and so Shami is my mentor, and she works in Nissan Technologies, and she's a computer scientist, and she got a master's in computer science at UTA. Fun fact, um, she loves to cook, and she's very kind and patient, and she has two daughters. One is in college, a sophomore, and the other one is a sophomore in high school. And um, it has been a pleasure working with Shami. Um, we had a lot of complications with the project and it was really fun working with her. Um, and before like starting the project, um, we talked about like different types of projects we wanted to create and like different types of languages, but I was, I always wanted to try like something new and like a different language because I already had experience with Java, C++, HTML, Arduino, and Python. And I just really wanted to try something new and I always wanted to create something that was interactive. Um, and in order to start the project, we um, started with, Shami um, told me to start reading the documentation in Corona SDK. And it just allowed me to really understand Lua and how it works and how to actually cope with it. Um, so I created a spaceship game and it, I used Corona SDK, which is a game development platform and it uses Lua as its coding language. Um, so basically in the game, the spaceship is at the bottom of the screen and you can move it from left to right, not up and down, just left to right. And if you double click it, a laser pop like shoots and there are asteroids coming down. So if you shoot a asteroid, you gain 100 points, but if the asteroid hits the spaceship, you lose a life, and the spaceship has three lives. Um, and we implemented um, a level two, so when the user reaches 2,000 points, um, it goes to level two, and so the asteroids move faster and an opponent comes up, so in the demo, you guys will be able to see what the opponent does. And um, when creating this game, we obviously um, faced some challenges and obstacles, and one of them was understanding Corona's framework and um, learning how the different types of events work. So basically, um, when I was creating the game, I always would, would try to create a different method, and like for example, it could be level two. I wanted to create a method for level two, but at some point I had to include it as an event method and I learned that I couldn't call a method that was an event method, and it was a struggle in the beginning understanding that and like manipulating with it. And another struggle that we faced is that Lua is a scripting language, so it is really hard to like debug, and every time Shami and I faced an error, we were like struggling, and we did not know what was wrong, so like it was really difficult to like learn how to like debug and like work it out and make the game start working again. Um, although we faced some challenges, it was really fun learning about system and um, user events and how there can be, they can be used. And I felt really proud when I was able to add the opponent and the laser because I was really struggling in the beginning how like Lua works because I've, I feel like personally was like really different from other languages that I've um, coded with and like Finally, being able to implement my own ideas um, with Shami in the project was finally like, I felt like I could code with this language and not depend on the documentation. And in the future, I would like to extend this game into two users. Um, and also, we had like the idea of the opponent having also like lies and like a score, like also, like kind of like a two users kind of, but just like being like manipulated by itself but we didn't have enough time, so I would also like to add that as well. And 
Also, something else that um, Shami introduced me to, it is um, time-based task management and milestone um, planning. And basically how it works is that we always had a deadline and a midpoint, so we were trying to make sure that we would finish the project um, by the deadline and also like have something planned by the midpoint, so we would set up dates and uh, what we had to be done, so like maybe at this day we needed to have this background set up or like the next day we needed to have the spaceship or something like that. And it just kept us on track and it was just something, it was like very nice learning about it to keep me organized. And here are pictures um, of my game, spaceship game. And here is the um, spaceship. And here are the asteroids coming out. Here is the start button. Um, you can move it like this. And if you double click it, it shoots. The lives are three and the score is zero currently. And here it is level two. And as you can see, it still has three lives. The score is 3,000, so it passed 2,000. So at 2,000 points, it's level two, but it passed it, so it's level two and here is the opponent and the asteroids are there and thank you for everybody for being here and once again to magic for giving me this opportunity and introducing me to Shami thank you Shami once again